What's going on everybody, Josh here. Today I wanted to go over a principle uh, that is extremely important when one starts to dive into the weight loss process. Now the problem here in our society today is that weight loss and fat loss are completely separate entities and we don't pay attention to that fact, okay? We think that we wanna lose some weight, i.e. I'm going to step on the scale and my total body mass will tell me if it's decreasing, I'm losing weight, fantastic. But the problem is, is that we're measuring all of our entire mass, okay, and assuming that it's the very thing that we're trying to get rid of. And that's the problem, is that we wanna get rid of fat tissue. We know that in the back of our mind, yet we don't take the proper steps to target fat tissue. And it's not because people are ignoring these facts. It's because there's so much conflicting information out there. There's so much information at all. You know, we have, um, you know, paralysis from making decisions essentially because there's so much out there. Um, and of course, there are, you know, larger entities with uh, a bottom line that they need to take care of. And so they need to push you in other directions, whatever. So bottom line here is that we're going to go over one principle that if you can understand this, Okay, and you can understand that fat tissue is the very tissue that you want to get rid of, then no matter what you're eating, you can always come back to this principle. Okay, you don't have to be keto in order to lose weight, um, but you do have to understand the principle of carbohydrate restriction and then converting your body's fuel source to fat. Like this is, this is fact, all right? So let's go over this. Uh, together. So we have two canisters here. Okay. One canister is filled with glycogen. Okay. And that is going to be the stored form of carbohydrates. All right. This is going to be in the muscles and liver. And then we have the other container, which is our fat storage. This is going to be our subcutaneous fat and visceral fat, the fat that's on the outside of the body and the fat that's on the inside of the body surrounding the organs, which is problematic for our vitality. This isn't something you want. Um, but here's the thing. If you want to start to chip away at this blue canister, all right, you need to understand that this yellow canister is in your way. It's an obstacle. You have to get rid of it or that blue container does not start to go down. That's a fact. This is scientific principles that have been proven over time we can't possibly start to use the very thing that we are trying to lose, the subcutaneous fat, the visceral fat, the very thing that we make synonymous with weight loss, we can't lose it until we understand that carbohydrates need to be restricted more so than they have been for us personally in the past. Okay, I'm not telling you you need to eat zero carbohydrates, but you definitely need to look into how many carbohydrates you're eating now and perhaps decrease them. Now, I'm not telling you to start counting carbs, but you can definitely look at the types of food that you're consuming now and you can understand this thing is 80% carbohydrates. And then from that point on, just eat less of it. That could, that could be the one place that you start. But the bottom line here is, is that we can't get to this fat canister until the yellow canister goes down, empties, essentially. So once the glycogen stores start to deplete, as you can see, it's gone down, now it's emptied. Now we can start to empty out the very thing that we are so desperately trying to lose, okay? now. Some of the things that we need to understand, we can't just decrease calories, total calories, and expect this to happen. Because if we decrease total calories, there could be a arbitrary amount of carbohydrates mixed into total calories. Which means that we don't know how many calories of carbohydrates are in what we're decreasing. Therefore, we cannot decrease the fat tissue. All right, so we have to understand that we have to target carbohydrates. We have to decrease them. Okay, and this goes for any diet that you're on, doesn't matter, vegetarian, vegan, paleo, keto, whatever, okay, 40, 40, 20, whatever. Um, decreasing carbohydrates is going to be your ticket to decreasing fat tissue. 
okay? And this is across any type of diet. This goes beyond any type of diet. Essentially, diets are man-made, okay? We're talking about human physiology here and how the body works. So we understand this. We can take it in on our way to any diet that we're implementing, understanding this principle, and then the fat tissue will start to go down. You will get to your goals. Because um, honestly, you know, when we're talking about weight loss, we're talking about you know, the fat in, in certain areas that we're trying to get rid of. We're talking about fitting into our clothes. You know, glycogen stores, we don't wear this on the outside of our body, okay? That's not the reason why our pants don't fit. Uh, it's going to be this subcutaneous fat. And the only way we can get to it, like I've said like 30 times in this video, I apologize, um, is by depleting glycogen stores, okay? I'm going to go over this more and more as time goes on. I've got plenty of videos as well, so check those out that currently. Um, and if you've made it to the end of this video, you liked it, come on. So why don't you hit me a like? Um, and not only that, if you want to get all the videos, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get all the new stuff. Uh, really excited for the future moving forward. We got exercise stuff, strength stuff, mobility, flexibility, diet, of course, uh, the science of diet, your metabolism. All of these really great things are coming forward. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, my name is Josh Manda. This has been Mandatory Transformation. You have a great day.